backlash after Sturgeon insists she detests Tories. That's a deeply misleading article or a deeply misleading headline above an article that makes no mention of the bit she said at the beginning of the question or the beginning of the answer about her willingness and indeed her enthusiasm for working with Liz Truss, who has thus far, as far as we know, made no contact whatsoever with the Scottish First Minister. And then Nadim Zahawi pipes up with the, I think that language is really dangerous. I do, especially on Mondays when my energy levels are high, I, I do have a tendency to possibly over complicate issues like this but I would quite like to know whether you think Nadim Zahawi is telling the truth or whether he just saw an opportunity for a little bit of very cynical politicking there's no way the language is really dangerous as far as I can tell and yet here he is claiming that it is I presume he has still said nothing about that woman that conservative woman MP flicking the bird at actual voters outside of the actual Downing Street but hey ho horses for courses or indeed Horses for heated stables in Nadim Zahawi's case. Uh, Zoe's in Fife. Zoe, what do you reckon? Hello, James. Hello, Good Zoe. morning to you. Good morning. Um, I think it's perfectly valid. I mean, remember, she just said the Tories, not Tories. She what? didn't make it personal. Um, unlike so many people want to do towards her, including Liz Truss. Yes. And you have to remember the environment she would have grown up in. Um, Nicola Sturgeon, you know, with, uh, I was very aware of, uh, as a kid, the poll tax uh, being visited on us and you know it's I think that Brexit and the sort of buffoon of Boris Johnson and everything else um, fooled a lot of people into forgetting why so many detested the Tories and now handily for a lot of people um, Liz Truss has reminded everyone. Well I, I, um, again it's 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 when we have to recognise the differences between Scotland and, and other parts of the United Kingdom. And in terms of voting, the Conservative Party is, is, is almost an afterthought in Scottish yes. politics. And oh, under, under latest polling, it is but an it afterthought. it hasn't always been. No, clearly. I grew up in, I grew up in Dumfries, Dumfriesshire. And actually, when my father had a serious, serious accident and needed care, um, nobody would help us except our um, local Tory MP. You mm. know, they are all people. But as a body... They, um, as far as the Scots have certainly mostly been able to see it, they stand for self-interest and furthering their own, you know, well, I, so, and so, career aims. You, you, I mean, to be fair, we should include some of their other achievements, like dehumanising refugees, uh, making, well, the poor, making the poor poorer, closing libraries, filleting the NHS, you know, exactly. re re reducing police numbers while claiming that they're, they're, they're somehow not responsible for increases in crime. They've done a lot more oh, than I you give them, a lot more Brexit. than you give them credit for. So, and you of know, course, my, Brexit. My brother is now a, a Finnish citizen because uh, he his hand was forced, and he and his wife had to take Finnish citizenship because oh. they need to be near his children. I heard from some. So, you know, Polish, Polish friends yesterday who have who are in the process of moving back to Poland because the well, standard of living yes. is going to be higher, and well, they're and they're high earning. I mean, they're, they're, he's a big shot computer programmer who uh -huh. can work wherever he wants in the world. But here they're going back to Poland, which was not yeah, the plan I mean, when they moved here ten years ago. Also, to to put it this way, I'm not a big fan of the um, of the SNP either. Mm. But the reason that many people in Scotland want independence so, so that we can have proper politics and get rid of the SNP because they've been a disaster in so many ways. We want to we want to sort our country out. Well, well there know? it is. We're there, there, I mean, this is nuance that I think may be a surprise to many Westminster watchers who don't pay enough attention to events outside the Westminster bubble. A, a real deep problem with the SNP, but you're not going to be joining in any bandwagoned attempt to attack the leader of that party for comments that are, I think, at the very least fair and uh, at, at the very most bang on the blooming money. 25 minutes after 10 is the time, 0345 606 I mean, let's be fair, it's not front page news here, but it is, um, it is written up in the right wing newspapers in a way that is disingenuous, if not dishonest. The Telegraph's headline again misses out the definite article. Sturgeon has no regrets over detesting Tories. Nicola Sturgeon has said she does not regret st stating that she, quotes detests, end quotes, Tories. Not that she, quotes detests the, end quotes, Tories. Um, after she was accused of using really dangerous inflammatory language and insulting more than 600,000 Scottish Conservative voters. Here's an interesting thing. Thank you, Zoe. I'll be with you shortly, Brian, in Loch Lomond. Here's a really interesting thing that we can never really dig into. You'd need to be doing anonymous focus groups. You'd have to have people answering questions that they would not be held to account for. They'd be able to tell you the unvarnished truth away from the lens of a camera or the 
or the muff of a microphone. That's the technical term, by the way. Don't stop sniggering at the back. Come on, honestly, it's not a carry-on film. But does anybody really think they're dangerous? All of the people that might be queuing up on social media or in Nadim Zahawi's case on television to describe these words as really dangerous. If you had a truth serum and you asked them, are you telling the truth? I think they'd all say no. I think they're all lying. None of them think it's actually really dangerous. They've just seen a fairly easy opportunity for a bit of lazy, cynical political point scoring. And of course, Nicola Sturgeon won't care because, and this is what Zoe just reminded me of, she doesn't speak to English voters. She's interested only in Scottish voters. So there's no PR disaster for Nicola Sturgeon when she says she hates the Tories, because in Scotland it's practically a national pastime at the moment.